I'd love to invite my colleague Gregor van Essen to start. Gregor works for a group called the Water Agency. He's been a good friend, colleague of mine for many years, does a lot of work through Asia, Myanmar, Vietnam, and Indonesia. And he has a passion around engagement, has done it for many years with young water professionals, but recently his team are doing work in a whole range of things. And the tool watercraft or raincraft has been one thing that he loves to promote. So Gregor, over to you, my friend, and the minutes are ticking. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Pete. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm really excited to share with you about our Asia Raincraft program. Um, so Asia Raincraft is a serious game that we developed to engage local communities in Asia with uh, water and climate challenges that they face in their own uh, living environments. So this is really looking at, at water issues at a household street and, and neighborhood level. Um, and at the Water Agency, we use this program as one of our tools to promote better, more inclusive uh, stakeholder community and, and youth engagement uh, in the projects that we do. Um, I'd like to ask Kirsten to run the video and then I'll try to provide some uh, a bit of voiceover explaining what you are uh, looking at. So in, in 2020, we first tested Asia Raincraft as part of a climate adaptation project that we were doing with a community in uh, Yangon, Myanmar. Uh, due to COVID and, and the military coup, we couldn't continue doing the work on the ground. And that is how the idea was born to create a like a digital model a replica of the neighborhood uh, so we could continue engaging the community online, uh, yeah, virtually walking around the neighborhood together with, uh, with people, uh, hear about the problems they have and, and discuss solutions. Um, as we got quite excited about the potential of this approach, we, we also realized that we could make it stronger if the participants would be better educated on the foundational water climate subjects at the start of the program. So we developed a series of interactive learning education modules, and you see some examples here uh, through which people can be taught on various topics such as the urban water cycle, working of drains in cities, causes of flooding, principles of greening, household water, and, and other things. Um, so yeah, really taking people along with us in, in learning about, uh, about water and then applying it in, in, uh, in Minecraft uh, designing uh, solutions. Um, so bringing this together, we ran another pilot project over the past uh, six, nine months in the city of Canteu in the Mekong Delta, Vietnam. Uh, also a city that has a lot of different water climate related uh, challenges. Um, and in partnership with Kansas uh, University, we used Asia Raincraft to um, to give residents uh, on the campus. Uh, ah, is it stalling? Oh, yeah. Very good. Thanks. Uh, so, uh, giving residents of the campus, uh, student teachers, a voice in the development of a new blue green master plan for the campus. Uh, addressing issues they were facing with flooding, heat stress, uh, water pollution, and, and water scarcity. Um, you can see from the video that, um, is that the little guy in the video? Maybe not. <laughs> and, and look, I, I think you can see from the, the work they did here is that, um, you know, uh, designing in Minecraft is, is functional, but it, it can be really inspiring as well. It, it's really beautiful how you can um, create these real life designs, um, uh, uh, which, uh, which, which, has, which has indeed been very inspirational for uh, the people in, in Kanto and, and the participants of, um, of the program. Uh, not yet included in this video are some of our new programs still in progress, which includes a program uh, on the island of Bali, just around the corner from, uh, from uh, every one of you down under. Uh, that program just started. Um, we're starting the first non-urban, like a rural edition with farming communities in uh, Chavin province in Vietnam. Um, and last but not least, we, uh, we just started an assignment together with the Taras and Bakening University to develop a serious game addressing the issue of groundwater extraction in Vietnam. And I'm expecting that to have elements of, uh, of, of Raincraft included as well. Uh, look, I, I think it's really encouraging to see that institutions uh, are starting to open up to the notion of, of you know, uh, involving people and giving them a voice and, and having them have an active role in contributing to uh, climate adaptation. And also see the potential value of, of serious gaming uh, as, as a way to, to engage with people. 
Um, so yeah, uh, we're, we're very enthusiastic about this as an approach. That's all, Pete, back to you. <laughs>